Minasan, Konnichiwa. Hello friends, how are you? This is Sujoy Chatterjee welcoming you to my YouTube channel Saral Japani and today is the 39th episode of this series. Today's topic is what is Semong? Friends, we know Doraemon, we know Tintumon. So Tintumon, although it's not a Japanese cartoon character, it's from the southern part of India, but still it has a mon at the end. So Doraemon, Tintumon, but what is Semong? So in today's lesson, we shall see what is Semong and how. so in today's lesson, we shall see what Semong is and how do we use it in sentences. Senmong, it is pronounced as Semmong. So although it's written as Senmon, it is pronounced as Semmong. So when we will use it in a sentence, it will be pronounced as Semmong. Now, what does this mean? Sen means dedicated and Mon means way of doing something. Although it has another meaning as well, but in today's context, in today's lessons context, it means way of doing something. So Senmong means dedicated way of doing something. Now, what does this mean? It means having expertise in a certain area or field. So it means the dedicated way of doing something that is some kind of specialization or one who is master of a certain subjects as he has been dedicatedly learning that subject or dedicatedly working in that area. So same mom is nothing but specialization or specialty or the main subject of study. So we have earlier learned about occupation. Now this is the specialization of a person. So this is what same mom means. Now let's see occupation versus specialization. What does that mean? Doctor is an occupation. Medicine is a specialization. So there may be different kinds of specialization for a doctor. Likewise, teaching is an occupation. Biology is a specialization. So occupation or profession in Japanese, it is called shokugyo. Shokugyo. And specialization or expertise, as we have seen today, it is semmong. So Shokugyo and Semmong. For lesson on occupations in Japanese, if you haven't watched the video of lesson 27, please do so because we have explained in detail about various occupations in Japanese and uh, also the application of those in sentences and conversations. So in today's lesson, we shall be focusing only on Semmong. How to ask name, occupation and specialization? So what should be the question like? What is your name? Onamai wa nan desu ka? What is your occupation? Goshoku gyo wa nan desu ka? Goshoku gyo wa nan desu ka? So here you can see O is the honorific prefix. Onamai means we are asking this question with due respect to that person. So O is the honorific prefix which is added to namai, which means name. And similarly, when we ask the occupation in place of O, it, it is go. Go is used as the honorific prefix followed by shokugyo, which means occupation. Go shokugyo wa nan desu ka? So whether O will be used or go, it's a uh, matter of practice. There is no definite uh, uh, rule for that. It's it all. It's all for from the point of view of ease of pronunciation of the following word. So for namai it is o. For shokugyo it is go. And similarly, what is your specialization or area of expertise? Go semmong wa nan desu ka? Go semmong wa nan desu ka? So here also go is used. So the first two we have seen in previous lessons. Onamai wa nan desu ka? What is your name? Go shokugyo wa nan desu ka? What is your occupation? And our today's question is, what is your specialization? Go semmong wa nan desu ka? So now we shall see how to answer this question. What is your specialization? Go semmong wa nan desu ka? We shall see how to answer to this question. But before that, there is a root word called gaku. 
So this is the kanji of gakku. So let's see what it means and what are the various words derived from gakku, which will be used as part of various specializations, that is semong. Gaku means when it is used as noun, it is nothing but knowledge or learning or study. But when it is used as suffix, it indicates the study of something. So in English, ology, that is biology, sociology, physiology, psychology, neurology. So ology means the study of something. And this is the same. This has the same meaning as gaku in Japanese when it is used as a suffix. And similarly, ICS is also used like physics. Uh, physics is an example in which the suffix ICS is used. So likewise, in Japanese, we have gaku when it is used as suffix, the study of something. And if it is used as a straightforward noun beginning with gaku, then it means learning, knowledge or even scholarship. We have gakusei derived from the same parent word gaku, which means teacher. As we all know, we have we have got this word earlier in our in one of the lessons. Gakko means school. Daigaku means university. So here you can see this is the kanji for big and this is the kanji for gaku. So this is daigaku. It's written in hiragana here. University. We have kagaku means science and we have kogaku means engineering. So in each of these words, gaku is present and these are the meanings of all these gaku based words. So in the following two slides, we shall look at various specializations. Depending upon the various subjects we have and the most important ones, and we will see how the word gaku is used as suffix in all those specializations. So let's move forward. Semmong. These are the various types of semmong. Mathematics is called sugaku. Sugaku. Chemistry is called kagaku. Kagaku. Physics is called butsurigaku. Butsurigaku. Biology is called seibutsugaku. Seibutsugaku. Geography is called chirigaku. Chirigaku. Geology is called chishitsugaku. Chishitsugaku. So here you can see chi word, uh, the chi sound is present in both these and both are starting with geo. So it is, it can be inferred from this relation that chi must be something related to earth. And the answer is yes. Yes, it is. Chi means earth or the ground. So geo means chi. Chirigaku is geography and chishitsugaku is geology. Then we have medical science as igaku, igaku, psychology as shinrigaku, shinrigaku. So sugaku, kagaku, butsurigaku, seibutsugaku, chirigaku, chishitsugaku, igaku, and shinrigaku. Then we have three most important engineering specializations. Civil engineering is called Doboku kogaku, doboku kogaku. Mechanical engineering is called kikai kogaku. As we have seen, kogaku means engineering. Kogaku is engineering. We have seen in the previous slide. So doboku gaku, doboku kogaku is civil engineering. Kikai kogaku is mechanical engineering, and joho kogaku is computer science. Joho kogaku is nothing but computer science. Then we have literature as bungaku, English as ego, ego, economics as keizai, keizai, and architecture as kenchiku, kenchiku. So these last four, these do not follow the gaku rule, and these are independent words. Literature is bungaku, English is ego, economics is keizai, and architecture is Kenchiku. So to summarize again, civil engineering, 
土木工学、メカニカルエンジニアリング、機械工学、コンピューターサイエンス、情報工学、リテラチャー、文学、イングリッシュ、英語、エコノミクス、経済、アンド、アーキテクチャー、建築。So these are the primary specializations, that is Semong, which we have studied today. And now we shall look at the question of asking someone's specialization and how to answer that question. What is your specialization or area of expertise? Gosem Mong Wanandeska. Tanaka san, what is your specialization? Tanaka san no Sem Mong Wanandeska. So, this is another way of asking someone his profession. So, the first question is <coughs> sorry, how to ask someone about his profession? <coughs> And the second is by referring to someone's name. Tanaka san, what is your specialization? Tanaka san no semmong wa nan desu ka? Or Tanaka san, anata no semmong wa nan desu ka? So this is the third way of asking. Tanaka san, what is the specialization of your father? This is another style of type of question for asking specialization of someone's relative. Tanaka san, anata no oto san no semmong wa nan desu ka? Oto san is father. So, Tanaka san, anata no oto san no semmong wa nan desu ka? So, you can see there are two no. So, this also we have studied earlier the usage of double no. So, Tanaka san, anata no oto san no semmong wa nan desu ka? Means, Tanaka san, what is the specialization of your father? Now, what should be the answer? So, for reference, we have written all these subjects here so that we can use them in our example sentences. My specialization is dash. So, this will be written in Japanese as Watashi no semmong wa dash des. So, if we want to use sugaku, then Watashi no semmong wa sugaku des. Watashi no semmong wa kagaku des. Watashi no semmong wa sebutsu gaku des. Watashi no semmong wa igaku des. Now, if I say I am a doctor and my specialization is medicine, I am a doctor. Watashi wa isha des. Isha means doctor. So, Watashi wa isha des. So, here it will be Watashi wa, Watashi wa isha des. And my specialization is medicine. It will be Watashi no semmong wa igaku des. Watashi wa isha des. Watashi no semmong wa igaku des. Similarly, Watashi no Semmong wa Bungaku des, if I am a literature. Now, if we want to answer in another form, Tanaka san no Semmong wa Dash des. Tanaka san no Semmong wa Butsuri gaku des. Tanaka san no Semmong wa Tanaka san no Oto san no Semmong wa Kagaku des. Tanaka san no Oto san no Semmong wa Kagaku des. That is Tanaka san's father's specialization is in chemistry. Tanaka san no oto san no semmong wa sugaku des. Tomodachi no oku san no semmong wa butsuri gaku des. Tomodachi means friend and oku san we have seen in the last lesson that it's wife. So my friend's wife, the specialization of my friend's wife is physics. That is Butsuri Gaku. So Tomodachi no Okusan no Sengmong wa Butsuri Gaku des. That is, my friend's wife's specialization is physics. Tomodachi no Okusan no Sengmong wa Butsuri Gaku des. So, friends, that was it for today's lesson. We have seen how to ask and answer specialization or the field of study or the area of expertise, which is called Sengmong. So, this is the summary of lessons we have covered so far in this course. Altogether, 39 lessons we have covered. And in the next lesson, we shall be back with one more important lesson. So, friends, if you are liking these lessons and if you are not yet subscribed to this channel, I request you to subscribe this channel and also click on the bell icon so that as soon as I upload the next video, you get a notification and you can watch the video as early as possible and so that you don't miss out any video. So with that information, 
I take your leave now. So see you next time in the next lesson. Thank you very much. Mata imasho.